I do about you And what I think about the future I'm all you see Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome to my channel if you're new. I hope your day is going well. Mine is. I'm very sleepy, but I have an interesting topic that I want to talk about. Something I found out a few months, weeks ago, something like that. And I've been kind of looking into it, and I just want to talk about it on this channel. So here we go. Neuroplasticity. Um, I believe when I first heard, I think somebody told me that through a comment. Somebody either commented on this channel and told me about it, or mentioned it on my Instagram or something. I've seen that word before. And it was in regards to abuse. It was in regards to something that I think they had to go through to help them with their PTSD. So I was like, Neuro neuroplasticity, I looked it up. And um, basically, so I looked it up and basically the definition is the brain's ability to recognize itself by forming new neural connections through life. Okay, for all of us smart people, we can kind of get what that means. Okay, your brain's ability to reorganize itself by forming new neural connect connections through life. Neurons allow the nerve cells to compensate for injury and disease and to adjust their activities in response to new situations or environmental changes. So, um, knowing that definition, neuroplasticity is basically rewriting your memories. Not entirely rewriting them like, okay, you replace your bad ones with good ones per se. They're still going to be there. However, you can try to turn that around. You can try to turn around something that was once traumatizing in your life and turn it into something good. Now, I have not tried this technique, this neuroplasticity technique. I have not tried it. I haven't been to therapy to hear anything about it or do anything with it. This is just my own personal research. And I was, I was interested because I didn't know that was possible. I didn't really know that you could do that. Now, we know regarding life, you can change how you view things. You can change how you even view your past. You can change how you view certain memories from your past. You can change a lot of things if you really put your mind to it. It might take some time, it might take some years. It might take some deep, deep meditation, some deep, some deep stuff. But you can. This is interesting because your brain has the ability to rewire itself into, I guess, making better memories, making better connections. Like, let's say there's something you get triggered by every day, or not every day, but every time you see this particular act or this particular thing, you get really triggered by it because of something in your past. You can actually rewire your, rewire your brain to not, to no longer get triggered by said act, you know? And I think that's really interesting. Like, if somebody Let's say that someone, let's say that during someone's childhood, they were constantly getting abused by a door slam or, you know, the person who was abusing them constantly slammed doors into them or hit them with the door, something to do with doors, always hitting them with the door, mashing them with the door, locking their door, you know, something. Let's say they've just been always traumatized by doors. Every time they see a door, they get scared. Every time they hear a door slam, they get scared. Every time they see a door knock, they get scared. And it triggers them to kind of go in the corner because like, oh my god, I don't want to be near that door. I don't want any bad things to come from that door because they have so much horrible memories from childhood. Let's just say that was the case. Apparently, neuroplasticity is a technique where you can actually change that. You don't have to be afraid of doors forever. That person has hope. If they go for this training, not training, if, if they go for this type of healing, 
they can rewire their brains to no longer be afraid of doors. And I think that's really interesting, you know. Um, there's a lot of interesting stuff out there regarding therapy and PTSD. And I'm constantly just learning and researching when I can about things like this to kind of let people know about these things. You know, I'm not the most educated on some stuff, but you know, I try. Um, hey, I'm just a stay-at-home mom here homeschooling my kids and whatnot, but I also educate myself every day. You know, homeschooling is not just about me educating my kids. I educate my own self too. Because you got to. How are you going to educate your kids if you don't continue your own education? And that doesn't necessarily mean college. <laughs> you can educate your own self through anything. So that's what I've been doing. And I realized that your brain is a powerful organ. It's a really powerful organ. And you can shape your mind to do anything you want it to do. If you're triggered by those doors slamming or being busted in the nose with it or anything of the sort, you can change that. You can change how your brain reacts to hearing a door slam. You can change how your brain reacts to seeing a certain food that maybe you were uh, forced to eat or is always being thrown at you or something. You can change how your brain reacts to whenever someone pulls a knife out. Stuff like that. And like I said, it's really, it's really interesting. This is powerful stuff. Knowing that your brain can rewire anything you want it to. Like I said, it takes work. It's not an instant thing. Nothing's nothing's instant. Nothing is ever instant. It takes work. It takes time. It takes years. It takes therapy. It takes talking. It takes training and possibly even some stuff like hypnosis. Some people have to go through hypnosis, a form of hypnosis to get there. You know what I mean? It's kind of like they have these shows. What was that show? Um, wasn't there a show where people uh, went on TV and talked about their fears and the person tried to get uh, help them conquer their fear? Was that the Maury show or something? I don't even remember, but it was a show where people got on, got on and they faced their fears. They purposely got on to prepare to face their fears. So if that person was afraid of a snake, they literally had a big ass snake on stage waiting for you and you had to sit there and you had to conquer that. You had to sit there and Oh my god, even though you're about to have a panic attack, just being around it and uh, talking about it and I guess embracing what you're afraid of, embracing your fear, it's kind of like that. Embracing what you've always been afraid of, you know? I even I think there's a form of, neuro of neuroplasticity in the making. It's just that easy, just facing your fears. There's a lot that you can do with that and that's how you train your brain. If you start hanging around what you're afraid of more often, your brain will um, your brain will just magically change, and then before you know it, you'll no longer have bad memories associated with said thing, you know. So yeah, that's that's it's interesting. Like I said, um, if you want, you can do your own research on neuroplasticity. I'm gonna possibly do more research on it. I really like these types of topics. Um, I always said I'd be a good psychologist <laughs> if I could go to school for it, but who knows if I want to go to school for it. That's a lot of money and a lot of time down, way down the road, if possible. You know, there's a lot of things I want to do and be. So, that would not be the only one, but I, th I really think I'd be a good psychiatrist, you know. But anyway, I believe I've said out all I've had to say regarding neuroplasticity um yeah i think that was it if you guys have any comments or questions down below write down below comment to let me know what your worst fear is let me know what your greatest fear is right now if you don't have a greatest fear per se let me know your worst mem your worst childhood memory what is it just let me know comment down below let's chat make sure you like this video make sure you leave a like I need y'all to start leaving likes. No bullshit. That is the end of the video, guys. I hope you guys are doing great. I hope you're having a great second hour, day, month, minute, and week. Thank you for watching. Peace out.